played in an attack mode all night, uh, didn't settle. Uh, you know, he felt like the last couple of games he's been selling. You know, when you have something on you, you tend to do that. So uh, I thought he was phenomenal in, in how aggressive he was. And he made right plays, you know, uh, made some great plays out of the double team. They, then they didn't want a double team, which with Joel, he got what he wanted. But I, I really thought as good as he was, the defense uh, overall, just our team defense tonight uh, was, was really impressive. Really impressive. Also, in the last road trip, you guys went four and two. This one, you three and one, just evaluate how you guys did overall in this one. Yeah, it was one of our goals. We talked about it openly before the year started, uh, that we had to be, a, if we want to be what we want to be, we have to be a good road team. And um, we're going out on the road. We're taking care of business. We're very serious about it. Um, you know, we don't make a big deal of it, but we know winning on the road is hard. Uh, and we're doing that. That's a good sign for our team. Thank you, Doc. Mark Arducci. Uh, Doc, um, Furk had another big game. It looks like he's been playing his best stretch this season. Could, could you just talk about what you've seen from him lately? Yeah, he's been great. You know, uh, he has great rhythm. You know, he's doing less, Mark. I thought he went through that stretch where he was trying to do too much with the ball, uh, and now he's not. You know, he's taking a shot when, he's, when he has it. Uh, he's straight line drives, which is phenomenal for us. But he's not dancing with the ball anymore. And we thought he got into that a little bit. I thought that threw him off. Uh, he's taking the shots he should take. And, and, and our guys are finding him. Um, I thought Shake did a great job uh, tonight. Like, Shake's a scorer. But he really saw that, that Ferg had it going. And he tried to get Ferg the ball. I thought that was really good. Thanks. Chris Franklin. Hey, Doc, uh, how important was it for you guys to go ahead and uh, rest a lot of your starters ahead of Wednesday's game in the fourth quarter, ahead of, ahead of Wednesday's game against the Nets? You know, Chris, honestly, I didn't even think about it. Um, uh, you know, we got a bunch of tough teams coming up. And so, you know, my, my thought is win this one, you know. So I didn't go in the game thinking about resting anybody. But the fact that we were able to do that the last couple of games, you know, uh, uh, that that can't hurt us. I mean, I don't know what it does, but it can't hurt us for sure. Ty Carlin. Hey, Coach, it's actually real quick going back to Furcon and actually Matisse too. It just kind of seemed like they both gave you a good play on both ends of the floor. How yeah. important is that to get those two-way guys off your bench like that? It's important. I mean, anything, uh, Matisse is going to give you the defense, you know, with, with him. Uh, we want him to, you know, make the open shots, which he's working his butt off every day doing straight line drives. That's just, you know, the last four or five games, he's had those straight line drives, uh, and we need that from him. So that's been good. And then defensively, he was just disruptive as always. And then looking ahead to the Nets game, is this one of those games where you guys kind of have circled on your calendar considering everybody's all talking about the Nets but not really talking about you guys or anything in the East? Well, I guess not, uh, honestly, until um, we were walking into this interview. I didn't know we played Brooklyn uh, in a day. So I can tell you, for me, uh, I'm, I'm a one game at a time guy. Uh, I literally close the book on Dallas when we get on the plane and start watching whoever that next opponent is. I don't let myself get that far ahead, especially in a regular season. So, uh, But it'll be a big game. It'll be a, a fun game for both teams, you know, um, and we'll see what, what happens. Thanks, Coach. Chris Kraus. Hey, Doc. Uh, last time you guys played the Mavericks, you mentioned um, about knowing some of their plays just from um, just from Seth being there. Um, was that the case tonight, or was something something else kind of uh, what led to the success? No, I just thought it was overall. Deep. Even the last time, you know, it's not about like they know our place too. You know, they have Josh Richardson. <laughs> you know, though he wasn't with me, but. Uh, they know a lot of the stuff. This league is the most over-scouted league in, in sports, you know. Uh, probably a little less scouted with, with COVID, you know. Guys can't get in the, in the arenas. Uh, but at the end of the day, you got to just follow your game plan. And I thought uh, we really did that. You know, the one loss we have on this trip, we got away from our game plan. Uh, and our guys saw that. So that probably carried over and helped us tonight to follow. Thanks. We'll just a few more. So next we'll go to Paul Hedrick. Hey, Doc. Beginning of the season, we talked a lot about Ben and that kind of balance between being aggressive to score and also looking to facilitate. It seemed like tonight he's kind of struck a really good balance with yeah. that. What did you see out of him? Yeah, I agree. Um, 
it was, I told him walking off the floor, uh, first of all, his attacks to the basket were not passive attacks. They were aggressive attacks. He was going to lay it in or you're going to follow him. And that's what we've been trying, not going away, trying to get away from it, going through people. Uh, and he did that. And then the other half, he drove it and kicked it. So I thought he had the perfect pace to the game tonight. Um, and that's what we need. We need to build on that because uh, we'll show him that. Uh, he picked and chose correctly tonight, which was really good. Thanks. And we'll wrap up with John Clark. Hey, Doc. Uh, when you had your starting five together this year, you're now 19 and four. Uh, what do you take from that? That's the best record in the NBA with a starting unit. Yeah, you know, John, I like it. Uh, I take that we're a really good basketball team. I also take as much as it helps our starters. When we're at full strength, it helps our bench because now our bench is better. You know, I think people always lose that. Like, when you have injuries, you're taking people from your bench to the starting lineup. The starting lineup can survive, but it's the bench that struggles. You know, when you have everybody healthy, now your bench is strong. And so I would say that probably has as much to do with it as anything else. Take care, guys. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thank you. Thank you.